We begin with a teacher at Roosevelt High School in Wyandotte arrested for trying to solicit sex from a child. Thank you for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 6. I'm Mike Duffy. Wyandotte police tell us the arrest happened on school grounds yesterday morning before classes began. Tonight, 7 News Detroit reporter Sarah Michaels is speaking with a student who tells us she was sexually harassed by this teacher for an entire school year. We have been talking to parents and their kids outside of Roosevelt High School here all day today. Although we are not sharing the name of this educator until charges are filed, I can tell you that most everyone walking out of this high school says they know who this teacher is, describing him as creepy. So when you heard this news this week, what did you think? He finally got caught. <laughs> With permission from her mom, senior at Roosevelt High School, Amira Dekamanada shared her story with me. You see, she says that she's not surprised the specific Roosevelt High School teacher has been arrested. There's some times where he would just like straight up like degrade me. She says the same teacher sexually harassed her friend and her all of sophomore year. There was one time where I like just got my varsity jacket and he said like, is it new? And he was like, can I smell it? Amira says the teacher was assigned to provide help to students with individualized education program plans. She says instead of helping her, he made inappropriate comments to her about boys and called her cheer coach saying she shouldn't cheer because she was failing. Amira and her mom say she was not. These allegations they're making, we have not been able to independently verify. It just like made me struggle more. It kind of just made me like kind of give up in that class. I feel actually sick to my stomach. It makes me want to vomit. I called Wyandotte police to learn how the teacher was arrested. They told me Homeland Security Investigations used an online decoy to talk to the teacher. The teacher thought that he was talking to a girl under the age of 14. He was not. Police arrested him Tuesday morning before school on charges of accosting a minor for immoral purposes and using a computer to commit a misdemeanor. The school has issued this statement saying this week's allegations do not include any other employee or student. Should be coming to me crying and we'd be reporting. No one was wanting to listen or do anything. Amir's mom tells me they reported Amir's experiences to the school and no action was taken. I asked a district for a response to that, and they issued this statement saying they seek to be responsive to all concerns that parents and students raise while adhering to district policies. It takes a lot of bravery to go on TV and to talk about this. Why did you want to do it? I guess kind of to like just to spread awareness because it may seem like especially when you're not getting heard in this situation, you might start thinking about it as normal, but it really like it isn't at all. Wind up police say that if there are any other victims out there, they want to hear from you. Please reach out to them in Wind up. Sarah Michaels, 7 News Detroit. Thank you, Sarah.